<laughs> this is called successful. You didn't hit anything. That's right. So what's going on? Those are pieces of the impeller. No, those are screwed. The impeller pieces are down here. Right here. So, and, yep, it's just completely chewed up. Completely. <gasps> like I said, it's all chewed up. What in the heck caused that? Running it without water. Probably. Likely. Good thing it's not a diesel though. It's not the same kind of problem. So, I don't understand. Why didn't it have water? Because we didn't turn on the through hole here. Why didn't we? I was being untied and moved. And I didn't realize he wanted me to drive it away until he said, you better get it in gear and get it moving before that wind catches it. I was expecting to be just pulled around the corner, but then Billy threw the line in the water and I was the only one on the boat. <laughs> I'm going, shh, he just threw the line in the water. There's nobody on the boat to help me, you know? So I had to do something, even if it was wrong, right? Well, and so now we've toasted that. Oh, well, the impellers are cheap. That's the thing. That's not a big deal. Well, but where else are there those rubber pieces? Have they gone into the whole system? Maybe I probably have to pull that out, but it's all right. Ah, shine that in my eyes a little better. You. I can't see you because it's so dark in here. Yeah, I know. That's because we have no electricity here where we're parked. One and I. With this problem, we are not going anywhere right now. So, I guess we will figure it out. We got everything here. At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it over five Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? Okay, we got the boat in the water yesterday Hopefully they can hear this. We are trying to decide if we're leaving for the marina. It is 9.4 nautical miles one direction, which takes us through a deep channel, and 6.4 another direction, which is more shallow and narrower. Yep. And we got 12 knots of wind. We got 12 knots of wind which doesn't seem like a lot, and it always blows 12 knots of wind around here. <laughs> it's gusts up to 20 out where we're going, and we have people telling us not to go and just wait for the wind to die down. But it, it never dies down. It never dies down. We would have to wait like a week. At this point, there's nothing on the horizon, and we can't stay here. Like, we're just tied up at the boatyard. Right. And I'm having a really hard time. I'm really stressed. And we try to keep this real. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like to make a fool of myself on camera. One of the hardest things about doing YouTube like this is showing you the stuff we don't know and that we're learning as we go. And yep. mistakes will be made. and. There's potential for mistakes here. Life is full of that. You gotta step in and just do it sometimes, you know? We bought towboat US, so if we get stuck or have a real problem, we do have that option. So this is where we're at right now, and we need to figure out what we're doing. And then we will be back on camera either at home or going to on the marina the road, on the water i mean we're ready right we've we're basically ready. calibrated everything yeah tammy is going to be at the helm no <laughs> that's why oh, i'm yeah. going to be downstairs and not watching because otherwise oh, i'll be like hollering at you the way i did she's last going time. to abandon me that's what's going to happen 
Well, you don't want me yelling at you. <laughs> I should have worn my shirt. Sorry what I said while docking the boat shirt. Yeah, I'm the one that has the problem, not you. So, all right, let's figure this out. There. How fast are we going? Four and a half.
was terrible. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have hit a super yacht or sunk. Okay, yeah, we could have hit something worse than a piling. It wasn't. It wasn't like a bad, uncontrolled thing. It just. I was going super slow. Yeah. I had turned off the motor. I had put it in reverse a whole bunch several times, and I just the it, wind and the think current it was, was the, blowing. It wasn't your us. momentum. It was the wind was blowing us sideways. Like it wasn't that I came in hard and hit it, it was that we were getting blown in sideways and I couldn't stop it. I couldn't do anything about it. I don't... Well, docking's one of the hardest things you can do. Docking and leaving. Nobody else hits the dock and breaks it. Or they don't show it. Adrenaline's a tough thing. And we've had some training in that. Pretty high adrenaline there, right? Right now, I just want to say yeah. F that. Right? This is just sucky. Well, this is the sucky part about sailing, for sure. We've been in the water two days and we broke something. <laughs> right? The first dent is okay. There's not even yeah. a dent. The paint is scratched. That's where I'm like, we obviously didn't hit it going fast it was a push and a slide forward yeah maybe it was already bad definitely you it know gave way hard, really hard fast it gave way pretty easily yeah it did give way pretty easy but our boat that's our boat is like a tank Thirty thousand pounds so that is the end of this disaster <laughs> We decided to take the shorter route, which wo had us weaving in between gas Oil pumps. platforms, yeah. gas platforms. And it was actually challenging, even though we were zoomed right in, to always tell which one where we were supposed to turn before or after. And so that was really stressful to me. To, to follow the course and the wind was blowing a lot but yeah, then we yeah. turned and then the waves were on our beam and we heard over the radio somebody asking about what the sea state was and somebody said something about a crazy sailboat out there apparently we were the crazy sailboat out there yeah. so apparently everybody else would have stayed home <clears throat> yeah. so that's the debrief guys Debrief. I'm not sure. I really. The kids seem fine. I'm the one traumatized. <laughs> right? They're like, hey, can we go play at the playground when we got here? <laughs> <laughs> we sugared them kids up. Kids bounce back. Yeah. Okay, can we will let you know if we're selling the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cliffhanger. Right. Will they sell the boat? What do you call it? Slightly used? What do they call that? Better than, you know, better than fair condition, but, you know, not in excellent condition? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay. See my shirt? My kids thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> so did I. Todd has one too, but he's not the one that actually needs it. I have the sweatshirt, so I do that in the winter. She does it in the summer. <laughs> so that was our adventure of getting the boat over here to the marina. Yep, our uh, helpers that were going to help us tie up our boat got here about literally probably three minutes after we had pulled into the dock. Yeah, and, and we're trying to hold, hold the boat into position. <laughs> right. So, so some of those scratches that you saw actually came as we were getting alongside the dock and the piers are outside of the dock and they scratched right. up the boat. Um, but nobody died. <laughs> Nothing was badly injured. You can kind of see this post right out here behind us, this tall one. That is the sister post to the one that fell over when we came in and what we found out from our neighbors was that it's actually supposed to be shorter, like the ones you see over on this like side. Like this one with the satellite dish on it? Yeah, 
and it never got driven all the way down into the ground. And so they got it started and then they left and never came back to finish driving it in. Yeah. So that's why it fell over. Here's the thing. When you're learning new things, it's really difficult to share that on camera with you guys because you right. see the raw emotion of it all. So I know that there's people out there that would be like, what the heck, you shouldn't have had such a problem. If you've got a problem, you don't belong out on the ocean. You know what, I have trauma around docking and we've talked about this a couple of different times in our live video, right? Like we had that problem docking a week later we were doing cpr on our friend just after a really terrible docking experience with him um we have since gone out and done docking again gone out we've turned around in circles came back in went out turned around in circles came we're trying to work on this for yep. me and it's it's i have trauma around that there is some serious ptsd <laughs> But I'm going to get over it. And that's the thing that you have to recognize when you're learning new skills and doing things that are new and hard and scary and yep. have emotion around them is that the only thing that helps is to just keep working on it, to allow yourself to feel the emotions, not say anything bad about yourself or other people that are struggling with that just to be supportive todd's been very supportive and i didn't yell at you the last time we docked nope <laughs> nope she did it she did an amazing job i mean part of this is you know you have to have some some experience to be able to compare things to and we don't have a lot of those experiences right now so but the only way that that works is repetition yeah you just have to keep trying there's right. a there's truth in the idea that if you fall off the horse you have to get back up on it yeah yeah so we are so grateful that we now have comments and that you can share your thoughts about this video below good bad or ugly i guess hopefully yeah. not very many ugly yeah please be kind the reality <laughs> is that we're doing our very best um and we're learning new things yep yep I hope you guys are trying new things in your life too. So get out there, have an adventure, plan something new, try something different. And we're going to keep the boat. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week. See you later.